hello guys uh, today uh, we will be learning how to create a local repository and using that we will be installing cloudera manager so this is the documentation provided by cloudera to create how to create a local repository and the first things we have to do is install a web server then download the tarball from the archive.cloudera.com then we have to modify the repository path in the repo file like this so these are the steps we are going to do today let's get started and I have logged into the Cloudera manager I'll just switch to the root user okay the first thing is that we have to check whether this IP tables enabled or not so for that I will be executing this command status the IP tables are not enabled and the service also not found so no need to do anything on this part next we will be installing the HTTP services okay the service has been installed and we will be starting the services using this command we will start the services if you want to check the status type status so you can see that the service is active and it is running so to make this service while the system boots up execute this command it makes the services up and running when every time the system rebooted okay if you want to check you can also check this whether this check config has been affected or not use this command see you can see that that has been enabled here okay so after this you'll be getting a a folder called HTTP conf so in that we will be seeing a file called HTTP deconf so this is the file if you go here and search for the document root so that is the path where we will be placing all the RPMs or rep Mm, or parcels which is required for the installation so we need to find that so this is the path where we will be placing all the our repo files or rpm files here this is the path and we will we can go with the default things so nothing uh, changes required here okay so if you want to test whether the uh, the HTTP services is configured correctly or not you can use this so for that first install telnet the telnet has been installed can take if config I'll take telnet and the IP address and put it so you can see that this 
telnet is working fine with this IP address and the port number. Okay. You can also check logging into that server in web. For that, go to here. Just click on this. It will not work because we have not configured HTTPS. So that's why we are getting unable to connect. Yes, enter. So it gives the test page. Means that our HTTP services is configured correctly and it is working fine. Okay. So this has been done now and the next step is we have to download the star file from the archive directory then we can place that file in this path. Okay, for downloading that, we can go to this site. Okay, actually, this one you can go to repo as starball. So, in the Cloudera exam, we'll be working on 5.10.1. Go to this and you have to select the appropriate one for us. This is the one. I am using CentOS 7 and I will be selecting this copy link location go to the Cloudera manager ok then install the wget first wget has been installed then you can download that repo. So this is the one we are looking for. Just enter. So it will download that selected repo file of Cloudera Manager 5.10.1. So this is the version we will be using or Cloudera will be giving for our exam. So that has been downloaded great then the next step is we have to copy this one to the Cloudera path that is document root path so we will be doing that so for that you can use star exvf and the file name okay see to the directory directory means for www slash html okay we will check that To the directory you can see that cm you can see the all the folders here if you go to this directory five point ten dot one I can see all the data, mirrors and the RPMs, whatever required for the installation that will be present here. So the one and after this we have to configure this repo. So for that we have to go to the directory called cd slash etc for that we will make that file first ok and uh, 5 ok ok that's fine and we'll copy this 
and I will take one notepad okay and I'm just searching for any format is available or not okay here one format is available I'll just uh, mm, name is fine Loader manager is fine base URL is fine I'll just replace this with this slash 5 and I'll replace the host name with config that is copy this this is the host name okay okay this is the host name I'll be replacing with fine and this is the name is closure of versions and I'm naming this as loader manager local and I'll be giving enabled and GP check is equal to zero so this looks fine and we will be going to CD etc repair.t ls myself here where we will put this one these things here so for that I'll go in vi I press I for insert I am taking all these things copy and I'll just paste okay. this is the base URL okay and one more thing we need to do is we have to take it out that HD HTTPS sorry and this is fine okay all looks fine and we will save this okay and again we'll go back to that Apache and if I give CM here it should reflect that repository see the repositories are reflecting here so this means that we have configured the local repository in a good manner saying that we can able to install the cloudera managed components using the local repository if the internet is not available on your system also we can able to do that okay then you can also check with this command whether it can list all the cloudera manager components see if you see it is listing all the cloudera manager repos which are required uh, for installing the cloudera manager if you want specific word means you can go for cloudera hyphen manager stuff so it's giving the same out fine okay so from using this local repository you will be uh, listing you will be installing cloudera manager so for before that uh, we have to configure one database mysql to store the data the metadata of loader manager so for that we have to install mysql first so for that i'll be going here okay so this is the procedure to install mysql i'll be going here i'll be getting the rpms from the mysql site looks fine then i'll just cross checking whether my rpm is correctly downloaded or not for that you have to use this command 
sudo rpm h mysql whatever the um, rpm downloaded version is okay my rpm is perfectly fine then i will be installing mysql server for that you have to use m install mysql server hit enter so it will install mysql server press y and then hit enter press y again hit enter so this is after that we have to install this mysql connector java which is used for connecting uh, connecting the mysql from the other systems so for that we will be using that still installing it will take some time to install okay that has been completed and I'll be giving the next command my SQL connector Java to install Press Y and hit enter. Okay, that has been completed now. And I'll be going to start the MySQL service here. Using this command system CTL start MySQL ID. I'll check the status. It should be running, so it is running. Okay, and 